how to get good sound quality at low volume levels. This question comes from Vico in Estonia. And Vico writes to me, Hey, Paul, I'm relatively new to the audiophile world. Well, welcome, sir, <laughs> and welcome to my insanity. Uh, and I've not gone through a lot of gear just as of yet. That's okay. Take your time, man. Um, I listen to a lot of music in my bedroom, and mostly I do not and cannot listen at high volume levels. I, I know the feeling. I have a pair of ELAC debut speakers and in an inexpensive amp from Ankyo. My question is, if I wanted to get the best quality and detail at low volume levels, what would you suggest to keep in mind besides the price tag as I'm doing my shopping? A loudness control. That's what you need to focus on. And your Ankyo probably has it. So a lot of people don't really understand what a loudness control is. And we've talked about it before, but it's worth mentioning again. As the volume level goes down below the proper level, and we've talked about that before, there is a specific level that every track of music in a particular room is perfect at, okay? It's where the voice doesn't get too big, it doesn't get too small, if it's a voice, where all the frequencies are properly presented. And there's, and every track is different. You can't say it's always going to be at 70 or on the volume control or whatever. So every track is different and it depends on the room, how many people are in the room, etc. There's just a certain level that needs to reach your ear for perfection on each track of music. So that said, if we know that we're going to play it at very low volumes relative to where it should be, then we also know that the extremes, the bass and the, frequent, and the, and the top end, the treble, are going to be rolled off. Um, a, a couple of guys named Fletcher and Munson uh, made a curve a long time ago that just showed that while technically nothing is rolled off, our ears perceive it as being rolled off. And they did a whole bunch of tests. They had a bunch of test subjects that listened to various t frequency tones. And they had boop, 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 And they put headphones on. And then they would adjust the level, loud, soft. But all of them were flat. And the people would always describe this curve of going like this. And if this was the top end, so it just rolled off at the top and it rolled off at the bottom. So manufacturers for many years put these things called loudness controls, loud contour controls. They are typically, if they're designed properly, they're connected to the volume control so that as the volume control goes up louder, the, the effects, uh, uh, you know, where they're, they're compensating, they're rolling up the bottom, they're rolling up the top so that it sounds flat, but actually it's like turning the bass and treble controls up. So either get one with a loudness control or one where you can have an equalizer on it or just bass and treble controls. But loudness controls are more specific. Usually bass and treble aren't exactly where you want them to be. So you can do it by tweaking up the bass and tweaking up the, the, the top end a little bit. Better to find one with a loudness control. And that'll be your best bet. All right. Good luck on your journey and welcome to the world of audiophilia. <laughs> Thanks. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Mm -hmm.